Lucy and her mother went shopping for fruits and vegetables at the local market. Lucy is carrying one basket in which they will put the fruit and her mother is carrying the second basket in which they will put the vegetables. After buying some fruit and vegetables, Lucy's mother asks her, Lucy, if we have to buy an apple, which basket will we put it in? We will put it in the basket containing fruit. Why is that so, Lucy? That is because apple is a fruit and not a vegetable. So, it will belong in the fruit basket. Very good, Lucy. Children, let us look at an example. Let us see we have one group of basketballs, a second group of flowers and a third group of ice cream cones. We have to place the following objects, a basketball, an ice cream cone and a flower in either of the three groups. Let us look at the first object which is the basketball. In which of these groups should we place it? Let us look at the first group. Because there are all balls in this group, so the first object, that is, a basketball, will belong with the other balls in the group. Let us look at the second object, which is an ice cream cone. In which of the three groups should we place it? Let us look at the first group. It is a group of balls. An ice cream cone is different from a ball. So, the second object, which is an ice cream cone, does not belong to the group of balls. Let us look at the second group. It is a group of flowers. A flower is different from an ice cream cone. So, the second object, which is an ice cream cone, does not belong to the group of flowers. Let us look at the third group. Because there are all ice cream cones in this group, so the second object, which is an ice cream cone, will belong with the other ice cream cones in the group. Let us look at the third object, which is a flower. In which of these groups should we place it? Let us look at the first group. It is a group of balls. A flower is different from a ball. So, the third object, which is a flower, does not belong to the group of balls. Let us look at the second group. It is a group of flowers. Because there are all flowers in this group, so the third object, which is a flower, will belong with the other flowers in the group. Now, let us have some fun through this activity. Put each picture 
in the correct group by joining 